Hey guys, this is Karan from Tech Amigo, and today I'm going to show you how to install Lightning Kernel in your Eureka device. So after the recent update for the Eureka that is CM 12.1, the update is good but the problem with the update is that the battery drains fast and the time required to charge the battery is also quite long. In my case it was almost one day so it was quite a hell like thing. So the solution to this problem is that you can either change your ROM or install the various battery saving apps that are available in the market but the one that I find most convenient and effective is that changing the kernel for the device and the good part of this is that uh, Eureka has many kernels available in the market example the Gods kernel, Accelerate kernel, Thunders app etc but the one that I find most effective and convenient is the Lightning kernel. Uh, the lightning kernel is not developed by me but the team HSR, the complete credit goes to them. So if you want to follow them, I have left a link in the description below. You can follow them on the YU Playground forum. Uh, they provide a regular update for their kernel uh, in 2 to 3 months That's the, and the best part of this kernel is that uh, the kernel is always stable. So you can install this kernel without any worry. So before installing this kernel or any kernel you have to do the following three things that is unlock the bootloader for your device, root your device and install a custom recovery. So before installing any kernel you must be done with the following three things. Uh, so if you want to know how to do the following three things just comment in the section below I will provide the video for the following three also. So after we have done the following three things you can install any kernel, uh, kernel source for your device. So let's get started. So the first thing that you have to do is to download the kernel zip file for your Eureka that is lightning kernel file I have provided a link in the description below you can download the kernel from the uh, link in the description below once you have downloaded the kernel file then place the kernel file in your internal SD card or external SD card and once you have placed it boot your device in the fast boot mode and I will show you how to do the following just follow the uh, steps that are shown so once when you're done with the three steps that is unlocking the bootloader, routing your device and installing the custom recovery just uh, follow the steps and install the lightning kernel. Uh, first download the lightning kernel zip file from the link in the description below and place it in your phone memory. I have placed my lightning kernel zip file into the external SD card. Let me just show you. File manager under SD card apps here you can see it spells like lk 2.0 v3 uber tech this is the latest version of the lightning kernel and if you want to uh, keep a track of the updates just go into the yu playground forum which uh, whose link is provided in the uh, description below just uh, keep an update with it so once when you have placed it just boot your device into the recovery mode to do that select settings under settings go into the developer option in developer option you will find an option called as advanced reboot just make sure that you have enabled it so once you have en uh, enabled the advanced reboot option long press your power button click reboot and under that recovery so after clicking that your phone will boot into the recovery mode So depending upon the custom recovery that you have installed, I have installed TWRP recovery over CWM recovery because it is convenient and, and has more option. So once when you enter into the TWRP or CWM recovery mode, the first step is to wipe the cache. So select the wipe option and enter that advanced wipe and just swipe after that it will clear your cache so after this step you have to install the lightning kernel zip file so locate your lightning kernel zip file wherever you have placed i have uh, placed it in my external sd card so i will just locate my external sd card zip file install external sd card apps and here it is just select that zip file and swipe to install it so now the lightning kernel zip file has been installed in your phone after this the, the, the it is the most important step you have to wipe your uh, delvic and cache because if you don't then your phone might get stuck into the boot loop 
so depending upon cwm recovery or twrp recovery cwm recovery uh, people have to do it manually and twrp recovery people may get this option by after installing this so just click on that wipe cache and delve just swipe it and depending upon your cache the phone might take part, uh, take some time so i will just skip this part so here it is the complete cache has been wiped out now click on the back button and reboot system now your complete system will reboot so since you have wiped your cache the device may take some time to reboot so don't get panic that the device is not rebooting uh, fast it will take its own time so now the device is rebooting uh, the, and it will optimize all your apps so depending upon the number of apps that you have installed in your phone the optimization may take some time here it is so i have total 145 apps in my phone so it will take some time so i'll just skip this part and move on to the next part so here it is the lightning kernel is been installed in your eureka device so if you can check it under settings under settings about phone now you can see that the kernel version of your device is lk 2.0 v3 so this is the kernel version that we have installed in our eureka devices so now time for the final step and it's the installing of the kernel auditor this is the app which allows us to control our kernel or the core of our device so and this app is completely free on the play store just search it and download it so once you have downloaded it installed it just open the app so once you have opened the app we have to make some necessary changes under this app in the tabs of cpu thermal gpu and input output scheduler so before making necessary settings just make sure that the apply on boot option on the top of each tab is enabled so you have to make all the necessary settings that has been provided in the video if you can't follow the settings uh, through this video there is a link in the description below which provides the images for the settings you can just refer to that images and make all the necessary changes so once you have done all the necessary changes and make sure that the apply and boot option is enabled just exit the kernel auditor app and reboot your device so once you have rebooted your device just reopen the kernel auditor app i have already done the necessary settings and also rebooted my app so just reopen the kernel auditor app once you reopen all the necessary settings that you have made will become permanent and you can enjoy the thundering performance of your battery or the UU record device. So here it is the lightning kernel being installed in your device. If you want to get updates for this channel just click on the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.